When you get your new Fuseworks craft kiln, the first thing you want to do after unpacking all the contents is to carefully read your instruction manual in its entirety and inspect the kiln and base before use. Place your kiln in the provided stand, then you want to make sure the heating coils are seated nicely in the grooves on the interior of the lid and that the fiber body is free of any cracks or damage caused from shipping. Don't worry if you see some discoloration on the inside of the kiln. This is just from the factory quality control test and it's normal. If you feel the lid is too tight or loose when opening, you can adjust the tension using the bolts on the back hinge of the kiln. Then vacuum out the inside of your kiln to get rid of any debris that may be left from the packaging during transportation. Selecting the work area for your kiln is important. Your kiln, like most heat producing appliances like ovens, toasters, or irons, draws too much current to be used with most average extension cords. So we recommend you make sure to select a place for your kiln close enough to plug in directly to the outlet. And don't worry, a standard American household 120 volt outlet works just fine for the kiln. There's no need to have an electrician rewire a new outlet for you. To avoid tripping any breakers, make sure to not operate any other appliances from the same outlet while your kiln is running. Keep your work area out of the reach of children or pets and make sure the area is clutter free and away from any flammable objects. And remember, heat rises, so don't put your kiln under any upper cabinets or overhanging fixtures. The bottom of the kiln will get hot too, so make sure you always use the provided stand to avoid fire hazards or property damage. To make sure that your future projects don't come out uneven, make sure your kiln is on a solid work surface that is level. The Fuseworks Craft Kiln must be pre-fired before its first use, so let's do that now. Plug in your empty kiln, close the lid, then turn the dial clockwise to 15 minutes. Do not leave the kiln unattended at this time. The interior of the Fuseworks Craft Kiln can reach temperatures exceeding 1,400 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperatures this high can cause serious bodily harm and property damage if not handled properly. So you always want to be nearby while running your kiln just to make sure nothing happens. This goes for the pre-fire and any future firings as well. Never leave a running kiln unattended. While we wait for our pre-fire to finish, let's go over some more safety precautions. Always use safety mitts or heat resistant gloves when handling the hot kiln. Make it a habit to always unplug your kiln while it's not in use. Depending on what projects you are creating, you may need longer firing times. To help extend the life of your kiln, we recommend you not exceed 15 minutes for each firing. If you need more time than that, allow the timer to reach zero, wait for 30 seconds, then restart your kiln with the remainder of the time. Always allow up to two hours for the kiln to cool down in between projects. Doing this protects the longevity of your kiln and its elements. Make sure you don't move your kiln until it is completely cooled. Moving your kiln before it has cooled can cause molten glass inside to displace and potentially harm your kiln or yourself. Be sure to use common sense and follow all guidelines and recommendations. After your pre-fire time is up, unplug your kiln and let it cool down for two hours before you use it for your first project. 